Oh, I need to copy and paste one sexy beast in. All right, there we are. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the Endo Commentary. And I'm picking my shoes. Yeah, he he stepped in something, so he's picking his. I carpet. don't know what it is. It looks like a load of carpet stuck into like the grooves of my shoes. So I'm trying to pick it all out. It's <laughs> so, not working so far. So we got Stanzi and we got Stu. Oh yeah. Oh my God, yes, three way. The S and S connection. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one sexy beast here. Oh, he should join us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 1438. Wow, and a lot of if I, if I blow a curse down the microphone, do you think he'd he'd get it? <laughs> <laughs> you, um, actually, the better question is, do you think Holly would be so jealous I'd be dumped? <laughs> okay, Shika 179, 1430. And Brooklyn, using the fire fist with Brooklyn Rage. <laughs> yeah, right. He's using the most. He's using that burning abyss. Joey wish he had burning abyss. Burial. Gores? Gores, oh my god. G Gores in burning a bit. Alright. I'm, I'm going back to picking my shoes because this guy's <laughs> fucking useless. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck what this. You... What's that? Wicked's banished in burning a bit. Am I missing something? Unless he's playing like a chaos version. <laughs> with chaos sorcerer and BLS. They're, they're, they're all no. dark anyway, so what's the point in playing Gores? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've heard of Dex playing Swift Scarecrow now to, to try to avoid getting OTK'd from Infernoids, but, like, Gores? Like, Infernoids? Yeah. Infernoids can OTK since when? Uh, apparently that's what they've been doing. They're a really aggressive deck, so... I don't know. I don't know. I know someone People... commented in my video and said that Infernoids are better than Cleaves, and I'm just like... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shadol's I can see. Burning Abyss. I can oh, see. Oh, wow. Talk to your dolls. Holy shit. You know, especially with the existence of Denko Seca and trap cards not being as relevant, I definitely feel that uh, Cleaves are the stronger deck now. The strongest deck in the format. Now, Karibo OTK, that's the strongest deck. <sighs> Alright. Artifacts? Really? Artifact he, all. He's trying to keep the fucking dream alive. <laughs> he really is at this point. Like, people playing artifacts still in non artifact decks, give it up. You're just trying to keep the dream alive, aren't you, at this point? Is she cut, like, really? Like, no background at all. You're not even going to give him a reason to summon his freaking Dekoseka, are you? Okay. Must have Falco in hand. I guess. Because <laughs> usually they search it if they ditch peace, but whatever. Mm. All the free pluses, my god. Yeah. You know, if you got something oh. from the extra deck, then Star Fusion is one of the dumbest cards. So far, cards this, so far this guy's playing now. better than Luna did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's be a running joke every fucking time, I swear to god. By like the end of that bloody... Uh, What's it? They streaming with Sonzi that we recorded. I'm like, yeah, and you'll like, we'll see you tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, with the bad one. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luna. But I don't have to worry about Luna coming over and beating me up anymore because he got deported because he was so bad. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I mean, I guess this matchup is still pretty. Oh, damn. Why don't you summon be a list? First. First. And I guess. I guess. Interesting. Yes! Fuck your carpet! That's one shoe, Dodge. Alright, got the other oh, shoe to do now. Okay, I, I thought that was some kind of slang. <laughs> no, got the other shoe to do now. Oh, fuck your carpet, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> wow, so he had double tour guide without searching tour guide at all. God damn it. Nice and powerful place. See, he's channeling Joey Wheelers, look. Gosh, the dolls are just... Meh. Meh. Seriously, they are. I love I love it. Everyone's like, the dolls, they're gonna be the best thing ever, and then they get power creep so hard. Seriously. I still haven't seen a Shadal player beat a Necros player. I don't think it's possible. Especially if the Necros play someone something using the gins, like they scoop it at that point. Scoop it. What about you, Stu? I don't know, I haven't seen that matchup yet. It's... But I heard it's really, really bad. It's really yeah. bad. 
I, I, yeah, it's, it's been happening to me on daily duels and got it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Inferno. I killed like five with that, Dante. My God. <laughs> Infernoid burning a bit. Okay, sure. Like, did your button just get stuck? <laughs> what the heck are those backrows? Most of the time they would have, like, chain Elshadel fusion or something and go into a window. Yeah. I have no idea. I would have, yeah, that's what you should have done. Let's go into a window, but I guess maybe. I don't know, maybe, uh. Maybe Core and. Try person with a safe Well, we see those artifacts, so maybe a Sanctum. Maybe a Core. Um. Maybe, maybe he's still running Sinister Shadow games. Well, they usually only play one core and he already ditched it. But then... Maybe uh, more attack or artifact under there. Mm. Mm. Maybe it is an artifact, I don't know. <laughs> Both of these decks are interesting. Like, really. Infernoid... Infernoid burning, burning abyss, abyss with a gauze for some for fuck knows what reason. I guess because he can open up Cloggy or something, maybe he know. opens up a shitload of Infernoids. I, I, I mean, I'm seriously wondering, like, do, do you have anything Inf for those two monsters that are sitting there staring at you? I mean, at least the bloody, this deck, it has, um, I can see why he'd be running Infernoids, because in Infernoids you typically do run a mini Burning Abyss engine, you do run tour guides with the Scarms, with the Dantes, so I can see why. Play a miracle dig, do he really wants to get those monsters back? Seriously. Holy <laughs> shit. Burial, miracle dig. Oh well. You got, what, six on the field right now? So you can summon an Infernoid, because it's not eight yet. That's what you want to do. I said two Dantes right now. And God damn, Dante's. Oh, you know what? Dante's always expensive. Dante's always been fucking expensive. I just Blaster can't wait till, until Burning Abyss aren't a thing anymore, and then we'll see that price of Dante, and then everyone will be crying over how much he spent on Dante. Oh shit, he upped it. Up. <laughs> up, okay. You mean He's pop? Too... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he knows what he's saying. Look at his rating compared to yours. Oh, is that, uh... Hell no. Konami! Konami, what is that name? The heck is that? <laughs> What the fuck? I haven't seen anyone play that card. Infernoid sits. Fuck that card. <laughs> no! What are you doing to me, Konami? Alright, so you're gonna attack his monsters, probably Falco. And then you're gonna go ahead and banish. Um, yep, and then you're gonna banish the construct. Alright. So can you wait for uh, Burning Abyss's final card? Like I said, what it is gonna be. Shit, what is it gonna be? The devil himself? No, it's, I told you, it's gonna be a spell card. Normal spell card, it's gonna be fuck you with the burning abyss. If you have a burning abyss if you have a burning abyss card in the graveyard, you can activate this card. You win the match. GG. Searchable by fucking searchable by by the fucking ritual spell too. GG. Get good. Yep, that's banished. You know. Yep. What's the gun of defense? He's the Supreme King, of course he knows. Wait, the other Dante didn't attack? I don't know, I guess not. Oh, 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 he's using the Inferno in effect to go ahead and banish a card from the graveyard. Gotcha. Yeah, now he's gonna get Dante's effect, no? Yep. He's doing uh. it! He's doing it! Okay, I guess. Really afraid of that soul charge. Yeah, we must be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit. Dante to return Dante. Mm. I think the only way Infernoids are going to be good is. Um, I mean, he does, he's being splashed Dante. in. Is being splashed in with other shit because I'm sorry that deck's gonna be too easy to yeah, fucking shut down. Yeah, they're not their own deck. They're not. They're, yeah. they're more of an engine than their own deck. At this yeah, point. I was about to say. That should be too easy to shut down. Just a uh, flip up Imperial Lion World. GG. Shake my hand. I mean, like I said, they're not my cup of tea. They're, they're too they're aggressive. Right. They're too oh, aggressive. Oh, called it. Yeah, they're too aggressive. They mill. 
They're, they're just like a modification of oh, fucking God. Mike's ones. Sanctum, have you got anything? He's got one morale talk. You but might he probably... have it already. Yeah, yeah he number generator. It. Yeah, number generator. He might do it. <laughs> oh, you got BLS. Nope, that, there it is. Oh. Oh, well, is that Dante? Dante effect, graph effect. Stu, how do you think they should hit burning this? Uh, Fire Lake, Dante to two, tour guide to one, in my opinion. Damn. I think, I that think the, I, die. <laughs> that was almost that was almost as bad as me. I said fucking tour guide to one, scam band. <laughs> oh my god. Scam band, um, good and evil band, Fire Lake to one, Dante to one. That's and what ev I said. And every real life burning gas player, burning gas player gets castrated. <laughs> Good. Fuck all of you people. <laughs> this is Konami we're talking about. They never do that. Castrate people? Oh. <laughs> I thought you said castrate. <laughs> castrate. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know. That seems like something Konami would do. Yes. No. I, I know what the next <laughs> uh, what the next uh, archetype is going to be. It's going to be in their new rarity. It's going to be in their hyper mega super fuck you remuggage your house rarity. Each card costs two hundred thousand pounds. GG. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> and then Konami as they release that rarity, the CEO's in his office. He's like, money, 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 money. Yeah, it's like this one TV that me and my friends are looking at, and the TV cost $25,000. What? Mm -hmm. You get a car with that. <laughs> my god. It doesn't even come with warranty. You can, you can get a army of hookers to suck you off for that. <laughs> to get your five-year warranty, it costs you $2,500. You can get an army and a half of hookers for that, including the warranty. Only half a hooker for the twenty five hundred. <laughs> don't know what's done with the other half of it, but you don't want to know. Oh look, burning abyss player is touching himself. Wait, was that a normal summon? Oh, no, he special both of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because he is special. <sighs> I don't know, maybe it's just me, but Burning Abyss aren't as powerful without the back row. I mean, the fact that they float and they want to be with back row... Is what makes them good. Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh, Dante. Ooh. Nigga, don't. 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 <laughs> don't pop the back row. It's probably going to be a fucking artifact. Is there really no El Shadal Fusion back there? This should be. Come on. Probably it's an MST, Artifact, another Artifact. Because, I mean, seriously, that middle one has not been used this entire time, I think. Oh, I'm in a new classroom for Calculus. Uh -huh. That's true. It's actually closer to my other class. Yeah. How far away is it from your car? Is it still miles away from your car? From your car? No. Because don't you get a certain sparking, parking spot? No, no, no. You can park wherever. Oh, cool. Yay, Tina's back. I like Tina. Who? My math teacher. Oh. Where's this duel going? <laughs> I, thought, I thought when you said Tina, you meant one of the girls. I was like, one of your army of bitches. No. Tina, as in <laughs> my professor. We're on a is, she a, is she a pilf? Mm, a professor I'd like to fuck. No. <laughs> well. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What is all that back there, man? And you, Mr. One Sexy Beast. Nigga, nigga, I don't even care if you have, like, fucking two more sanctums back there. It's not scary. There's only one more attack. <laughs> I'm sorry, like... 
the threat, the threat of Sanctum. It's not anymore. Seriously. You get me once, that's it. It's like fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> I was about to say that as well. <laughs> Beat me to it, you bastard. I wonder how this duel's gonna end. I have a feeling it's gonna end where fucking we all end up shooting ourselves in the head from getting too bored from watching this shit. Like, look at this. They're not even at Half-Life yet, and it's been going on for how long? I wonder if they're fucking... Apparently this guy's gonna deck himself out. No, mm -hmm. that effect is not target. <laughs> Whatever the fuck his name is, it's not target. I guess I'll just call him Infernoid S, because god damn. Infernoid Siesta, I'm gonna call him. <laughs> it's better than fucking Harmon Dick. <laughs> going around Harmon Dicks. <laughs> How's how's Harmadick? How, how hard's my dick? No, Harmadick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that card so expensive? Mm hmm. Which oh, one? Harmadick. Because it's an ultra. Oh, because <laughs> it's an ultra. <laughs> and the, you need to price... play like two of them or Shit, something. The price that it's at, I thought it was goddamn secret. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not secret. Shit. Ultras generally don't get up to fucking thirty dollars, unless you're a boss ass bitch like fucking Denko. I swear, for the longest time I thought Denko Seiko was a guy. I I I always confused the genders of bloody Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I thought fucking Silent Magician was a guy. Nope. I thought <laughs> bloody Denko Seka was a guy. You just don't I know probably... what women look like. Oh, apparently I don't. <laughs> Appar apparently, apparently, women I know are just too feminine. They, these all like fucking she males. These look more mm. manly than the Lady Hulk. <laughs> this duel is going on for a cool minute. Oh, see? Oh, shit, I was right again. There was a Shadows game. <laughs> oh, that card's going down in price. Oh, yeah. All the shit all shares going down in price. <laughs> I can't imagine why. So you're just gonna keep doing that? Is that the idea? So you're just gonna keep tributing and banishing and... What are you so afraid of? Hello? Merifos. I don't know, depending on how many darks, I'm gonna banish that, because Darkroom could come out of nowhere. Oh yeah, that's true. Or, um, that card that you banished a load of darks and you, it's like costless fucking plus Beginning two. Beginning of the end? Yeah, stupid. Oh, yeah. That card's dumb. It's a <gasps> really weird card art. Like, god, that card, especially Ultimate Rare, looks like fucking just a You black can't card. see it. You just can't <laughs> see it. So he's just Dante, get back. Dante, it, it, Dante. It's, get... Non -exist it's non existent, that card art. It's like Daniel's soul. Damn. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I had enough soul to invite you on this episode of DM the commentary. <laughs> uh, it's all right. You gave me your soul, but I did the Simpsons and traded it for traded it for Alf Pogs. Remember Alf? He's back and in park form. Well, at least he's out of tour guides. No one got that reference, did they? Nope. Oh god damn it! It's the episode of Simpsons where um. I don't watch Bart Simpsons. Down. Well, you should fucking start watching the yellow. No, read, I don't the like yellow. that show. <laughs> I've know? never liked that show. No. It's never been my cup of tea. They, they're you yellow. Know all, they're the... You know all about cups of tea. Sim the Simpsons are yellow. They're the wannabe Chinese show. Cups of teas. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> Farfa's in the door. Alright, Mr. Shadow guy. There uh, it is. Get back into this door. It ain't over. Oh, he can oh, do the defense. Yes, he can. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, the plays! Ooh! <laughs> Alright, so, you got a fuse from your hand, sir. There you go. Oh my god, that was smart. That's smart. That was. Is... <laughs> These Infernoids are fucking him up. Yeah. Completely just wrecking his ass. I... Oh my god. <laughs> just, just, no. Hedge is yeah. the only thing you can get. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Unless there's some invisible, invisible back row I don't know about. Fine. 
You don't know about the invisible back row of bullshit rule? No. Oh, damn. You, you need to learn. You need to learn about the invisible back row of bullshit rule. It happens all the time on Dian. I don't know why, but you haven't heard of it yet. Damn, that was... That was so good. Like, oh my god. Yeah, he's just like, new Infernoids for the win. He's like, Woo! oh. You, yeah! <laughs> Snatch <Snatched> there! <him! laughs> Completely fair and balanced. No. Completely fair and balanced. Still busted. And then you're gonna tribute your own fucking thing up and banish his Dante for the effect? No, you can only use it once per turn. So, that oh. includes monster being on the field. God. Dante touching himself. He is lucky, because most of the time, Snatch deals terrible against Infernoids, but he already baited out the effect, I guess. Yeah. I mean, really, he didn't bait it out. He just got him to get fucking. <laughs> oh, Look at that snatch steel. Snatch steel still busted. Yeah. You know, what, you know what? I've just I've come up with something, right? Rather than it being the number generator gods, right? It's the bitch off guarded treasure blowing uh, gold sparkles on your deck when you top deck something at one on DN. You can't. You can't chain the effect because it can only be used once per turn, once per turn. on the field. Mm. No, that's damage not step. Good. No, it's once. My god, you lot are bad. You're all bad. No, it's going to be used once per turn. It's already all used bad. this turn. They're all bad. All of you are bad. No. Exactly. Once yeah, per once turn. per turn, which means you can't use it again. Then, uh, you know, it didn't... It, shit, just, it, did, it didn't leave the field and come back. And what, even if you did tribute it, why is Snatch still still on the fucking board? <laughs> the... Do we equip spells just stay there forever now? Is that how they work? Is, is Snatch Steel continuous? Oh my god, imagine if Snatch Steel was continuous. Imagine, god. You know what's, you know what's even scary? Imagine if Snatch Steel wasn't banned. Oh wait, it isn't, because Konami is stupid. This card's still busted. <laughs> ah, it's completely fair. It's it, it, it didn't get power creep. It actually, it got stronger over time. The game is it, way too fast and aggressive, and you just made it even worse. It's you know, the stupid thing is, I actually sat down and I actually looked at the Bamba's history, and it's not the first time that Konami tried this shit. Even on the first ban list, it was limited, and it stayed limited for a while. Then it got banned, then it got limited again, and then it got banned again, and then stayed Wait. banned. Like, is Snatch Steel the, the OG of the ban list? No. The no. limited list, you know what I mean? It's one of the OGs. Uh, no, 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 no. Because the OGs are the cards that are in the first ban list, they were limited, and then immediately got banned and then stayed banned. Oh god. 12,000. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Must be so nice. Damn. That hidden effect from uh, Snatch Deal. Ooh, it's too good. That's why it's balanced, see? Yeah, it's totally balanced, you know? You just take your monster and your opponent gains 12,000 life points at the end of at each step I face. That sounds good. That sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no one would play that card. If no, it had that no one would play that card. <laughs> I'm gonna take your monster. So next turn you can gain twelve thousand life points. All right, ancient leaf, ancient leaf, ancient leaf. My like, god, damn. <laughs> oh my god, like you oh. have to dish, so you'd pretty much have to use snatch deal and OTK your opponent because you cannot have them gain twelve thousand. Well, that's gonna be. Haven't you heard? That's Konami's next errata for uh, Snatch Steel. They're gonna make it completely useless, like Sinister Serpent. All right. Well, does he win? Does does one sexy piece win because it's Snatch Steel? Of course he does. It's Snatch Steel. It's too good. No. Yeah. Snatch Steel for the win. Is that it? Probably. He already wasted his special summons. So yeah. game two. This is a match, right? Yeah, it's a match. Uh, yeah. Yay, we get to watch more Chidal Burning Abyss. Nick, just pick shit out of your shoe. <laughs> I, don't worry, I'm going back to my fucking shoes. My shoes are more interesting than this fucking match. Screw it. Damn. So, Snatch Deal for the win, is that it? Damn. When you would rather be picking carpet out of your fucking shoes than watching a game of Yu-Gi-Oh, that's when you know shit is fucked up. Hmm. What happened? I don't know, I'm picking my shoes. Summon, he summoned Curry Van and now Squarm dies and he won't get the effect in the end phase. Oh, okay. so. What an idiot. I have no idea what this guy's doing now. He, he's playing shit for the sake of playing shit. He's too okay. good. Look at, 
Stu, Stu, look at his rating and look at yours. He's too good. He's just going to tribute himself. To banish something. MSG, so you want that thing back, okay. Cooking and dueling at the same time. I gotta give you props for that. Oh, I would God. say, is that some kind of fucking metaphor or something? Like, I'm cooking dinner now. I'm about to <laughs> cook dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? You're gonna let him have it. Why don't you just use this effect to trip his himself so he doesn't get shit? Because he's bad. Hey, look at his rating and look at yours, alright? Shut up. I've had a better, a better rating than that. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, my rating's too pro. I've got 10 experience, alright? I've done one ranked game. Shit. You think one. you're badass? Have you heard of my- have you seen my rating? Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even try. <laughs> that actually 10 minute experience was from when I first started Yu-Gi-Oh with like the shittiest Exodia build ever and I went in rated randomly and I fucking won. This duel has gone on forever. I know. It's gone on so long. I, I seriously do not know why he didn't just chain the effect to trip himself. He should have It's gone that. on so long I've nearly picked all the shit out of my shoes now. Shit, if you would have done that he could have won this duel. What, picked all the shit out of my shoes? Yeah. yeah oh that's, damn. That's what you well, it's my fault now. That's how you win doors, you didn't know that? Pick your shit out of your shoes, okay, got it, alright. What the yep. fuck are Geki's $91? What the 91? shit? 91? Yeah. Oh, I gotta check this out. <laughs> it comes with, um... Who, who's the hot one? Dragon Duel Skull or the other one? I don't know. Comes with, it comes with one of them, the harder, the harder one of those two, who I, think, I always get confused. I think Jack it comes, the oldest girl. Alright. It comes with the harder one of those two, sucking your dick, that's why it's $91. Alright. Did you top deck into a... Nope. Okay, I'm gonna say, did you top deck into a Shadal Monster? You can go into Construct? <sighs> Should dull out if that's Nope, oh, that's it. Oh well. <laughs> So who won? Burning a best? I wasn't even looking. Uh, yeah. Uh, Alright, I thought so. We'll be back. Alright. Alright, yeah, we'll be back. Thanks for watching.